All right, so this one is on more about the hierarchy of life, about the root and all that kind of stuff. It's, um, I guess, a good video to end Capricorn, which is finally end. Yay! Um, also, for those interested in astrology, it's been where well, we've started Mercury retrograde. I think it started on the 14th. It should end in about two weeks, and I've already noticed many, many tech-related issues, not just to my own uh, tech, but also other people's tech. So one little thing to avoid that is to make sure that your head is well energized. So you know, if you get tech problems, focus on your head and relax the blockages and all that. So remember, wherever your focus is, your energy is, is where the blood will flow to. Anyway, let's get into this um, video. So, of course, we have the body, and we have a, the analogy as the root level. You know, the root level, the lower the bowels and all that, is the you know, the hell, the under the earth, and the higher levels is like heaven. This is positive and this is negative. Um, I think this goes up and this goes down. And in life, <clears throat> the lower levels relate to things like home, uh, money, safety, and survival. Material possessions as well. Yeah. The physical body, more the genetic aspect is in here. If you have poor genetics, you have a poor root, and uh, it just means you need to improve it. Because of course, you know, genetics are fluid. You know, everything is semi-fluid to some extent. Your or your body is always growing. That's one interesting thing. Um, so I like to think, you know, you're either shrinking or getting weaker or you know whatever or you're getting better and naturally if you just um, you know make your life better you invest in yourself you will just get stronger and better and you know whatever all that kind of stuff um, okay so working on these things in life so if you don't have a stable home if you don't have stable cash flow survival safety you know, you don't have food and water and all that. There's some basic necessities of life. Think, what exactly do you need day by day to survive? You need food, water, um, sleep, you know, a place to sleep. Uh, mostly that's it, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you look at the bottom, um, quadrant, there is that. Of course, you need like, you know, excretion is another one, ideally, bathing and all that, uh, sexual release, you know, that's another one. So these kinds of basic uh, you know, mechanical body processes, just satisfying the mechanical body processes. Um, if you don't have these things overcome, then you can't go to the next level, which I believe the next level will say, well, this is the earth level. Uh, earth sign and this is the water level I believe the water level is family friends depending on how you look at this this can also be related to air as well friends uh, just satisfaction of life the satisfaction and pleasure of life Yeah, basically, once you have you know the the, the, um, the basic survival stuff down, you start to enjoy your life a little bit. You build the cup, and the cup starts to uh, fill with water, which is why it's actually uh, excuse me, sorry, I'm put this mic down. why it's difficult to have friends and family and all this and fun and enjoyment in life if you don't have money and a house and you're not well fed um, yeah it's, it's really difficult to have that kind of stuff um, which is why I'm seeing 
partly the problem of you know young men who can't you know, they can't find wives um, or wife is that they have no money they have no housing they have no the, the root is not developed yet because it's very difficult in today's age to develop this root uh, back in the day 500 years ago you could buy a house for probably a few gold coins your know, house wasn't worth much it was um, maybe a, a couple weeks labor if, if even that to build weren't they're not really hard even today if you look at how houses to build the house isn't hard to build to be completely honest that's why I think in the future I think um, people making their own houses will be very popular. I think you know, already the, the tiny homes and the um, homes made out of like interesting things, made out of interesting building materials, made out of um, you know caravan houses, all that. Personally, I don't like. I don't want a tiny house or a small house, but um, you know, making houses a lot easier than you think. So and it's a lot cheaper as well. Interestingly enough, if you if you at least you, know, you can develop the skills, of course, but if you have some good handyman skills, it's not that you know, what you, it doesn't look that difficult. So this crisis of housing and jobs is the root level crisis. If you have a problem of your home, your money, your cash flow, your physical health, like you're always sick, you're always weak, um, you don't have enough food and all that, you're at the root level. Okay? So to understand that you are at the level one, level zero, depending on how you want to see it. Maybe once you've achieved this, that's level one. You can think. And then this level two is this. To achieve to get to level two, you have to achieve all of this, which is having your own family. If you're, if you're a woman, find a husband. If you're a, a man, find a wife. Um, and achieving some kinds of like relations as well. Just usually it would be um, see everything's simple when we take it back. You know, five hundred years. Now things are complicated. They're simple if you can understand them. If you can understand the past, you'll understand the future. So, right, you 500 years ago, you, you ask around the village and they maybe they give you a home. Yeah, that would be common if there was a spare home. And you're some kind of traveler and you want to settle down. Um, maybe they'd give you a home for a bit of work. Maybe they would, you know, they would give it to you very cheaply. Essentially, a home would be something that you would get in you know, a few weeks to a year, if not you know, earlier. Um, it's not exactly a home; wasn't exactly a, a expensive commodity, and now it isn't. It's just again, there's a lot of government nonsense, um, artificially you know, keeping the price up. I won't make this, this video is not on that, so I won't talk about it much. Um, so yeah, you would get that home and you would probably start up a garden um, or you would and you would also learn the natural landscape, you would learn the natural herbs, the, um, where, the, where water is if you didn't have a well, where you can harvest stone and because uh, this level this level is level one, let's just call it level one, is um, harvesting resources as well. The basic resources: stone, wood, uh, leather, um, dirt, you know, this kind of stuff. Various firewoods again, all of that. Maybe cloth to some extent. A little bit higher level, but whatever. So you would get yourself sorted. You would learn how to be self-sufficient and all that. And maybe you would work. <coughs> um, maybe do part part-time jobs for people because again full-time work wasn't exactly a thing it was to an extent um, you know more in the city but more in like you know, towns and villages and countries people like maybe they were someone would you know they would have their store was a house so they would always be there and you know they would get orders throughout the day or whatever 
Also, if you had a skill, you would um, use that skill to make money. Again, it's the same thing in today's world. You have to find somewhere to live, um, or else you know, you're camping out in the, the local woods. <laughs> um, you can't afford an air, uh, place. Um, and then once you have all that satisfied, you have your survival and your resources and all that satisfied. You, you would. Um, this is more as a man. See, as a woman, it's actually different. Um, men and women, they 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 start at the opposite ends. Men actually start here. Women start here, which is paradoxical. You know, this is the idea which is like. Men start with nothing and nothing and have to build everything. Women start with everything and have to build uh, and have to, or well, women start with everything and lose everything, so to speak, or, or could lose everything if they don't, you know, invest it in like a family um, or, or them, you know, themselves or whatever. Um, now, it's not actually paradoxical because while this is up in the sky, you know, what's up in the sky? Clouds, birds, and the sun, and the stars. <laughs> what's in the earth? Minerals, you know, a crystal, which is minerals, plants, animals, all the abundance of the world is at the bottom. Um, so I'll explain this more. So essentially, men, because they're more, the young, young, not not young as in young like a young child, but you know, yin yang, yin yang, uh, they they they're positive or young, you know, fiery. A man has to seek the root. He has to seek these things: Sh uh, safety, sustainability, you know, resources, money, housing, etc. And a woman has to seek with the heavenly things, which we'll get to. Um, which is, I guess I'll write down something: spirituality, spirituality. Uh, creativity, intelligence, intelligence uh, logic, which is kind of a faculty of intelligence, logic, uh, consciousness, literally mental um, awareness, you know, of the actual, which is a faculty of the brain, um, speech and speech slash word like literature or, or words uh, language that's it language there's so things like science language creativity spirituality uh, consciousness is like related to spirituality your logic all this kind of stuff um, this is more a man's domain and this isn't to say that women don't have it the same way that this isn't to say that men don't have the bottom things here, it does relate on the man and woman, but archetypally these things relate to the the, yeah, the positive element, well, uh, money, safety, home, um, sex, friends, family, you know, pleasure, satisfaction, such relate to the yin. Um, these are all these are earthly things, so. Men start here, women start here. The, the, the reason why I'll explain because a woman traditionally um, will essentially be, you know, she'll be in the home until she's married off. So she's always around um, the, these things in life. She's usually, you know, assuming this is a decent family or whatever, she's usually taken care of. Um, there's enough food. There's enough, you know, if any kind of work will be housework or will be garden work or some kind of maybe working in a, a, a family friend's store or the family store, it'll be very close to home traditionally. Um, still, the in the modern world, it's still an analogy. You know, women have more the indoor jobs, for example. Men have the, the jobs out in the sun. That's just, you know, that's a difference, for example. Or the entrepreneurship. Now, a man has to, you know, go out into the world and develop his um, his quick abilities. You, know, you develop a lot of 
quickness, a lot of consciousness and awareness outside. If you're inside, you don't need your head activated as much. You don't need your eyes activated as much because there aren't, you know, beasts, there aren't wolves, there aren't cars on the modern day version. There aren't cars that could, could squash you um, in, in the home. There aren't, you know, all this kind of stuff. In creativity, it's a faculty of the mind. So a, a man has to learn to be incredibly creative. Of course, women have their own version of creativity and they can access this, you know. It's not like one or another is locked out. Uh, I just want to make that point clear, but this is where men start. So it's a very, you know, very spiritual, very, um, which means air, light qualities. Um, a man will probably be a traveler. He might be more of a traveler or an adventurer. And then a man will seek these things, while a woman will seek these things as well. The opposite, a woman will seek the, you know, these faculties, while a man will seek um, these faculties. You might notice, you know, women very interested in books, um, in, in, in creative world, imaginary worlds. You know, a lot of women are very interested in spirituality, <clears throat> consciousness and all that kind of stuff. Well, a man is very interested. He wants to get his money correct. He wants to learn how to build things. He wants to learn how to harvest resources. Um, you know, all the, those kinds of things, um, depending on the, the type of man or, or woman. So, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's like the opposite. If you're a woman um, and you've got these things down, you know, you were born in, you were born with these things, you want to try to find these things, these spiritual qualities, that's your level one, well a man, if you, you know, you have these things and you um, don't have these things, like a lot of modern men, you know, you don't have cash flow, you don't have constant food, you don't know when your next meal, you know, how it's going to come. You don't have your own house, you don't have your own family, etc., um, or friends, or whatever. This is more what you need to seek. Um, you need to get this level down before you can um, move to the next. Because the level here of air, which is level two for going downwards. Or it would be um, level three if you're going upwards, you can kind of think maybe we'll say this is more, you know, what do you need for air? Because you need this level down for air. This would be um, like language, language, um, government, kind of like politics, philosophy. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So it's it's like more using the mind in society. Um, if you don't have, if you don't have, this is also experiences. If you haven't had legitimate experiences, then it's going to be more difficult to write a book. If you know what I mean. So, um, and if you're not very creative, if you're not very intelligent, you won't be able to mentally understand and put things into the correct order and um, science is another science or, or natural philosophy whatever way you want to um, look at it philosophy politics again philosophy a lot of that can relate to logic um, and wisdom and experience um, yeah so that's that's more the air but of course, air kind of intersects with um, family to some extent as well. So that's one interesting thing. Um, hmm. So anyway, that's kind of, again, it relates to the human. I'll just end on this one. Uh, here we go. Okay, so, you know, again, level one, head. This is a legitimate center of the head. You can, like, focus here and your hands, you see. Then two for that one here, kind of around here, also the heart chakra as well. So these two, two, one, two. And then down here, earth, earth chakra number one, uh, 
ladder region number two. And the middle is kind of around here, I guess. Depending where you wanna, how you wanna see it. So again, it relates to the body. Um, and these are the, the archetypal um, forces and symbols of um, the development of life development of life um, to and it's also you know I guess it would be advice for men and women because you know you, you go to a man and you say you know a man can't get a woman um, or do you do you have all this stuff down you do you have your your money down your safety your your um, resources your home all that kind of stuff if you don't have this down you know, realistically realistically you can't have a wife of course there are men who are homeless and you know, seem to attract women, but that's a very small minority. We're trying to be realistic here. The same way, you know, you have a lot of women saying, well, they can't get a man, they, you know, there's no good men, all this kind of stuff. Well, do you have, are you, you know, do you have an enlightened mind? Have you worked on your mind? Um, you know, women probably don't think as much, but uh, no, I don't mean that way. I mean, they don't think this as much that men would like these things. That's what I meant to say. Um, <clears throat> they might not think that men like these kinds of things. Um, you know, they might only think, well, geez, I have to just look very, you know, thinking on a root level, which is, again, it's, it's, it's archetypally negative. Uh, or feminine, they're thinking, well, I just have to, you know, I just have to look good. I have to have a degree, you know, I have to have a, um, a, a, I have to make money. It's like, well, why aren't they, why are they liking me for these lower qualities? And the man is like, well, I'm so creative. I'm so, you know, I write such a beautiful poetry and no one seems to care or I, I'm such a spiritual person or whatever. Um, or why do women not seem to care about my my great, you know, I make these amazing robots or something. <laughs> I make these amazing machines and they look at them and they just think, oh, yeah, cool. I write these, you know, these uh, so, these books on philosophy. It's just, I'm as great as Socrates. It's like that. So um, mm, definitely for women, you know, uh, men like a woman who is... Um, who has these you know, mental qualities because it, he has a lot of these mental qualities. You know, she can access him on this level um, through his mind. And it might, you know, you we're kind of told the opposite. It's like, well, you know, you, you, you try to access a man through his, his dick, essentially. And um, I mean, you'll have his attention for as long as it takes him to come, so to speak. Um, to be completely honest, um, though you know, of course, you want to have these things down. You want to the same way a man needs to have these things down and these things as well. A woman needs to have them both down. It's good you've got to be able to uh, deal with you know, reality, with cooking, cleaning, you know, making money, um, navigating society, um, you know, fixing up your garden, do whatever you know, whatever living lively things that it takes. Anyway, these are my um, opinions and understandings on all these topics. I hope you found some value out of it. Of course, um, get your own experiences as always and try to understand things. But this is kind of how I've understood uh, life, how I've started to see it and such is that this is how um, gender and men and women and life the progression of life works so i'll leave you with that i hope you enjoyed and of course feel free to check links in the description if you're interested and of course have a nice day